Hello and welcome to Sesete Zagreb, Croatia. I'm your host, Robert Winston, and today's story is going to be about Aussie Rules footy here in Croatia. It's Saturday afternoon, we've got the men's teams, which there are three men's teams. So you've got the Hawks, the Dockers, and the Double Blues. And then a little bit later in the day, starting at 5 p.m., we've got the women's fixture. So it's gonna be a fun day of Aussie Rules footy. We'll be going around interviewing the local Croatian players, finding out why they love the Australian game that is Aussie Rules. So we'll get into it and uh, see why Croatians love Australian Rules football. We started a while back. Um, we had, we now we're, we have two clubs. So the Zagreb Panthers, they're a couple of years older than the Sesvete Redlegs. Uh, the Redlegs got their jerseys and their name from Norwood uh, in uh, South Australia. The club from there, so that's our sister club over there. Uh, we've been playing for three seasons now. This is our third season with the Redlegs. I'm the coach of the Redlegs. And uh, we're doing good. I mean, in our first season, we won uh, all three titles. So the, the league, the C Central European match, and the Croatian Cup, the Zagreb Panthers, they're a couple of years older than the Sesvete Redlegs. Uh, the Redlegs got their jerseys and their name from Norwood uh, in uh, South Australia. The club from there, so that's our sister club over there. Been playing for three seasons now. This is our third season with the Redlegs. I'm the coach of the Redlegs. But we're doing good. I mean, in our first season, we won uh, all three titles. So the the league, the Central European match, and the Croatian Cup. Uh, well, both clubs have around 15 to 16 players, but that's not enough because we plan to play 18 aside in October. So we're working on getting a whole lot more players so that we can actually play 18 aside. The female league, it's normal progression of footy in Croatia I guess. When we started with 10 boys kicking a footy around on a, on a soccer pitch now we got a whole league and three matches in one day and a uh, hundred players you know over, over five clubs. Croatia loves their sport sort of a mentality in, in this, we never give up and when you, you meet a sport and you come into contact with a sport that's both physical and um, until the final siren blows it's not over it's sort of it gets the blood running. There's nothing else uh, to say with regards to that. But players pick the skills up real quickly and they, they love the sport, they love the physicality, they love the energy and they love the whole community vibe, you know, the love of the sport, I guess. So it's half time here in the game between the Double Blues and the Hawks and it's the Double Blues who have kicked 10 goals, 8, 68, currently leading the Hawks, 4 goals, 2, 26. First impressions, really high standard of footy. The knowledge is second to none, and I'm really impressed with just the one percentage, such as, you know, bumps, tackles, and I suppose just the basic fundamentals in football. So it is the Double Blues leading here at half time. <laughs> Your team goals and personal goals for season 2021? Well, uh, for team, of course, uh, to win everything that we can. Maybe if we get chance to play on um, Champions League in Amsterdam, to be best as we can. And for me, I think uh, the most important thing to, uh, is to have fun and to play with these great guys and to be in team with them. What's your favorite uh, position? I started as rover. Now, because we lost one guy in defense, he had broken fingers. I've played uh, halfback and uh, fullback now in this game. And I uh, played uh, halfback in the uh, Croatian national team in Sweden two years ago. So I would say I prefer to play rover or halfback. From a Croatian culture standpoint, what does it mean to be playing 
the Australian game? It's weird. It's weird. Uh, I mean, we are all uh, good with our hands because we have basketball and uh, football national teams and we are playing these games, so this was uh, something new. But I think that uh, everybody here is great in this game and we are proud to be this uh, community. game besides the only team that didn't play today is Zagreb Tietno Dockers and the mix of Zagreb Hawks and uh, CSSA Double Blues that played previously. Uh, we are trying to uh, accomplish that the players that didn't uh, play much in the previous games because of the hard game and the hard opponent uh, get the chance and they experience the game in a way that they would normally so we increase their experience and get better players for the next games to come. So this will be going on uh, for every game. From now, from now, today is the first. So the next game, Hawks will be the team that uh, won't play, but Dockers and Double Blues will uh, have their own team of the Crusaders. Currently playing for the Zagreb Hawks today. You, you had a loss. How are you feeling uh, post match? Uh, it's still a good feeling because we have a lot of new blokes playing and we just want to give them a fair crack to learn about the game. It's for most of our guys, it's like the second official game they've ever played, and some of them have been only training for two weeks, I reckon. So everything's pretty new to them, and we weren't worried about the results in the end. We just wanted them to develop and enjoy this footy as we are enjoying it. From a Croatian community, Sports standpoint, what does it mean to be playing Australian rules football right here in Zagreb? Uh, it's amazing to be honest because uh, footy is so big, obviously, in Australia, but around the world it's not so big. But playing it in Croatia, it means a lot for us that we really love the game and the love the community around it. I mean, the thing we enjoy most about Aussie rules here is Croatia, the community that goes with it. And I think we did a really good job replicating the thing that goes in Australia to replicate it here in Croatia because everybody has a fair crack at it. We get really physical, you knock somebody down but then you give him a hand, you raise him up. We're all friends in the end after the game and brothers in arms. So you are just telling me off camera, you actually did play in the SA NFL, which is yep. based in South Australia. Yeah, yeah, it is. I played for third football club and um, it was 2016 and 2017 when they actually won two premierships in a row. So um, it was pretty fun. I played for big race there and I learned a lot from that experience that I couldn't learn here in 10 years, I reckon. What would you say to any Croatian who want to come out and try out Aussie Rules footy? Oh, I reckon they have to be, I have to warn them because once they try, they will never go back, you know. So yeah, they should be. You'll be warned. If you try Aussie Rules, you'll stay with us. How have you been coaching Australian Rules footy for? Uh, I've been coaching since 2014. 2014? Yeah. And what is it about the Australian Rules game that you that you love and I suppose in further extension of that, uh, teaching the players who are warming up for the game today? Uh, well, I, I love the, the excitement of the sport and uh, because, because the sport is very demanding. And uh, demanding and it's fair. Because in this sport you cannot hide anywhere on the pitch. You have to be in good shape, you have to have good teamwork, you have to get have good knowledge. You have to be physically and mentally well prepared, and uh, it's it, it takes the most out of you, and uh, it's and that's why it's fair, and, and we love it. I was speaking to Dinko, the coach of the Double Blues, and he said people actually lost their jobs. Uh, yeah, some guys, not all, <laughs> but uh, there is some true. Yeah, but you know, all 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 uh, good stories didn't deserve to, to grow over time. You know, of course, because it took a lot from us uh, to 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 be able to pay for the trip all the way to Australia because we fund ourselves, you know, our association. 
Uh, we got a few sponsors and uh, it's, it's, it's very hard for people to get three weeks of, of their work, you know, and to go to play. Uh, one, one guy uh, uh, had a baby daughter born two weeks before he had to go and, and he went to the World Championship. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed Aussie Rules here in Croatia. Robert Winston reporting. Yeah.